reporter Emily now joins us. Emily, experts are talking about a Godzilla El Nino and the blob. Are these predictions valid? Well, Sophia, according to the Weather Network, the blob is a larger than normal warm body of water that's in the Pacific Ocean and it's about the size of BC. Running your own restaurant is a common dream for entrepreneurs. What could be nicer than serving delicious meals to make people happy? Well, not losing a fortune doing it could be one thing. Well, Jessica, the Jays and the Orioles played a doubleheader at Camden Yards. These pigs, many of which were abandoned or mistreated, enjoy a life full of love because one woman decided something had to be done. And one day somebody called me and said, there's a pig that needs a home. High hopes are what Tamara O'Brien and Kyle Carriger have. They're two of BC's brightest trampoline gymnasts, and they're both ready to take a leap of faith onto the world stage. Short-term goals. I want to go to the World Championships and perform my best. I am just focusing on landing on my feet and just coming out of that competition, feeling positive about how I did. One tip that ICBC offers to drivers to help them keep their eyes on the road is to actually put your mobile device in the trunk of your car so that you're not tempted to look at it. The economic road ahead for Ali and Alberta remains uncertain. The pond is completely clean now, so any wildlife that is there won't be affected by any of the residue left over. And the ducks that are in rehab will be back there in about a week. Back to you. The stolen goods seized by police from an underground fencing op comes from retail stores throughout Surrey and Vancouver. And then, thanks for having me. This is like the final thing on my bucket list, BCIT magazine, so I'm <laughs> done. I'm ready to go. The new Trudeau mania will not hurt the new Prime Minister's reputation, according to UBC political scientist Dana Beauvais. The 20-year-old structure is starting to show its age, prompting the District of West Vancouver to pass a motion to offer the project $75,000. A gunman opened fire just before 7 p.m. in the parking lot of Old Orchard Centre. I'm thrilled to officially announce Trevor Linden back where he belongs as President of Hockey Operations. It was with that announcement one year ago that Francesco Aquilini announced the face of the Vancouver Canucks franchise was coming back. Hello, and welcome to Sports Magazine on Evolution 107.9. It was a wild sports week. It's that time of year where it always is. We got hockey, we got baseball, we got football, we even got dodgeball. Elections Canada has launched a new pilot project at BCIT to allow people on campus to vote regardless of their riding. Voting stations at BCIT are brand new for this year's election. Joining us now is David Moscrob. David is a PhD candidate in UBC's political science department. He's here to talk about the importance of youth vote. Thank you very much for being here today. Justin Trudeau will be the next Prime Minister of Canada with the majority government. Media in the country called the election at 20 to 7 after Trudeau's Liberals surged ahead with 184 seats. The Liberal majority was announced. More and more supporters rushed to the Steel Toad Brewing Company to gather with other supporters to take in Justin Trudeau's state of the address. Evolution's Kurt Morgan has also been following the Liberal Party. He's at Delta HQ, a party for a brand new Metro Vancouver riding. Carla Coltrell was holding back tears as she thanked her family and supporters. Reporter Travis Prasad has been following the party who will form the Liberals' opposition, and obviously we're seeing a different mood amongst the Conservatives tonight. Carrie Lynn Finley is one of many Conservative in incumbents that lost their seats. And now former Delta Well, the race seems to have gotten away from the NDP in the last month, but the mood at the headquarters is not one of defeat. As our reporter Jacob Schmidt found out, the New Democrats know they still have a lot of work in front of them. The election might be over, but the third place party rages on, with both event attendees and candidates remaining hopeful for the future, despite a loss to Justin Trudeau's Liberal Party. Justin Trudeau has officially been elected Canada's 29th Prime Minister. The Liberal Party won a majority government, winning the most seats in eight out of ten provinces and all three seats in Canada's territories.